Hello my friends, we're in the land of coconuts, a treasure of tropical countries. The coconut is not actually a nut, but is in fact a droop. Coconuts have a hard shell, white flesh, and nutritious water. They are widely used in food, fuel, comedics, folk remedies, and agricultural materials. Every part of the coconut can be used by humans in some way and has significant economic value. In this video, we'll introduce products made from coconuts. Some of these will surprise you. The coconut tree is drought resistant, requires little maintenance, and can live up to 100 years, producing fruits consistently throughout its lifetime. Coconuts hold great potential as a sustainable food source. Indonesia, Philippines, Sri Lanka, India, Vietnam, Thailand and Brazil are the top coconut producing countries. Fresh coconuts are popular as a refreshing beverage. But processing coconuts creates valuable products allowing factories to consume thousands of tons of coconuts annually. First, to have thousands of tons of coconuts, someone must have planted them before. The time from planting to the first harvest takes at least five to six years. Coconut trees thrive in areas where fresh, brackish, and saltwater mate. Here, farmers often scoop sediment from the canals and place it on ridges. Harvesting is done manually, using long poles with sickles to cut the coconut branches. Depending on the climate, soil, and water sources, coconuts are grown for drinking or processing. A coconut tree can yield up to 80 coconuts per year. After harvesting, the coconuts are gathered for sorting and drying. The drier the coconut, the easier it is to remove the inedible outer shell. The coconut shell is tough and fibrous. The initial processing separates the core from the fiber shell. Typically, the fiber shell is removed with sharp knives or machetes. Although slightly dangerous, this is the most common method. Afterward, these two parts are sent to separate factories for processing. First, we'll explore fresh coconut export production and bottled coconut water. Processing coconut water involves sorting coconuts to meet export standards. The next step is filtering to remove sediment and impurities, keeping the coconut water clean. It's then pasteurized at 85 degrees Celsius for 30 seconds, followed by an ultra-high temperature UHT process at 140 for plus or minus 3 degrees Celsius for four seconds to sterilize it.
Cold, sterile bottling in a sterile environment ensures freshness, cleanliness, and hygiene. The product contains no artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives, extending its shelf life. It meets international standards, certified with HACCP, Halal, Kosher, ISO 9001-2000, BRC, and IFS. You'll feel refreshed and re-energized by the natural electrolytes rich in potassium, manganese, calcium, and phosphorus. Coconut water is sugar-free fat-free, cholesterol-free, preservative-free, and free from artificial flavors, considered one of the best coconut waters globally. Now, we go back to the coconut core that was initially processed. After removing the fiber, the coconut core goes to the factory for peeling and cleaning the soft outer layer. Due to its high fat content, peeled coconut spoils quickly, so the factory processes it within 12 hours. At this stage, we obtain coconut water and coconut flesh. A popular product produced here is coconut cream. Coconut cream is a delicious, versatile ingredient used in desserts, sauces, and various recipes. The white coconut flesh is finely ground and mixed with water. This mixture is filtered to extract coconut milk which is then separated into cream and milk through centrifugation. The cream is concentrated to achieve a thicker consistency and then sterilized to kill bacteria and extend shelf life. The sterilization process includes heating and cooling stages. Coconut cream powder is made from finely ground dried coconut flesh. Coconut oil production. The coconut flesh is shredded or sliced and then dried, either sun-dried or oven-dried. The dried coconut flesh can yield oil through to methods, pressing and cold pressing. In the pressing method, the coconut flesh is squeezed using a mechanical press to obtain a high yield of oil. Heat can be used, resulting in unrefined or flavored coconut oil. The unrefined coconut oil then goes through chemical and physical processes to remove unwanted odors and flavors. Refined coconut oil is lighter in color 
and has a more neutral taste. The final stage is packaging with refined or unrefined coconut oil bottled in jars or other containers. Coconut oil is a natural oil used in cooking, cosmetics and medicine. Rich in medium chain fatty acids like lauric acid and contains antioxidants that may help protect cells from damage. Coconut oil can help boost metabolism and promote fat burning. The remaining product after pressing the oil is coconut flour, which can replace wheat flour in cooking if you want. Coconut sugar. We want to honor the dedicated and hard-working farmers who ensure consumers and industries enjoy the natural goodness and benefits of the tree of life. If you've ever tried palm sugar, this is what you're looking for. The sugar is extracted from the coconut tree. The entire harvest process takes place at the top of the tree requiring climbing to collect the sap. Coconut sugar is known for its health benefits and its classification as low glycemic index GI, making it a suitable alternative sweetener. Coconut fiber mats and ropes. Do you remember we have coconut shells? After separating the coconut core, the shell goes to a factory. Here it's shredded by specialized machines to obtain domain components, coconut fiber and coconut peat. Coconut fiber is popular in the fiber industry, while coconut peat is widely used in agriculture. Then, the coconut fiber is dried and loosened. After removing all the peat, they are woven. Common products include coconut fiber ropes, which can be made into mats, ropes. The machine twists the fibers together. Coconut fiber mats and ropes are eco-friendly products made from natural materials. Cocoa peat production. These are the fragments left after fiber extraction. Add water and soften them, then dry. This process is repeated until it meets the requirements. Finally, they're compressed into sheets or bricks. This lightweight, breathable material is widely used in greenhouse agriculture for its water retention and high nutrient content. When water is added, it expands. To this day, humanity has maximized the coconut's resources and it seems we'll continue to do so in the future. Thank you for watching.